All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So a little while ago, we got the V jump scan that showed us the next two sparking units that will be coming into the game. They are none other than a new, I guess, Metal Cooler movie version of Super Saiyan Goku and a brand new Turles. Well, thanks to the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter account, we now have gameplay of them. So let's take a look. your losses while you can. Ah! I'll show you what it really means to be a Saiyan. Prepare yourself. Die. This is where you die. No escape. Victory is mine. You fool. You think you can take me? So now that we've seen what they can do, let's break it down. So starting off with Goku, it says, Super Saiyan Goku is coming. Super Saiyan Goku brings the first strike arts that restores health. Using regular strike arts also buffs special move damage, so throw out some strikes, then finish it with a destructive dragon fist. He also deals more damage versus regen. Okay, before I even get into it, can we please stop calling every strike special move from Goku anything related to Dragon Fist other than the actual move called Dragon Fist? <laughs> like literally every strike move with Goku always has Dragon Fist in it somewhere, but I digress. Anyway, he's the very first unit to be able to restore his own health with strike arts. That could actually be very beneficial especially depending on what element factor he may be right obviously right now we're in the market for a brand new green unit one that can actually hold their own against the likes of uh, vegeto blue i was about to say super vegeto but um one that can hold their uh, hold the likes against you know vegeto blue and we st or at least as of this recording we still don't know what element factor this goku is going to be if he's a green unit then i can see that being extremely beneficial because he's definitely going to need it but um, I think this is a perk that will work well with any element factor apart from red units right now. Red units, it kind of does not matter because, well, Vegito Blue will ultimately destroy them. But it sounds like a good idea in, you know, on paper, but we can only see how effective it'll be once we get our hands on the unit because it also depends on how much health gets restored per strike arts. Now, if you're able to set them up to the point where all of his cards will constantly be strike arts cards, that may be a different story because you're kind of working it towards your favor. But just in a general retrospect, it sounds good on paper, but we can't really tell until we have the ability to try it out and see how much health he gets to regenerate. Not only that, it buffs his special move damage, which is always a good thing. I mean, is seeing that this unit has to be melee focused obviously and you're going to be doing that to restore your health anyway what better way to add on top of that than to buff up your special move so that definitely is another beneficial perk and the last thing is that he deals more damage against regen i don't really see a purpose for this at all and the reason being is because regen is kind of like in limbo right now or at least the way i see it they're currently in limbo because they're definitely not like a bottom tier team but Personally speaking, I don't think that they're top tier as well. Like the top tier teams are God Key, Future, and Fusion Warrior, right? And there is Fusamasu, who obviously falls under all that stuff. But um, apart from all of that, there's not really a practical use for that ability as of right now, unless they're planning on bringing in a brand new regen unit soon. And that really doesn't seem to be the case. Or maybe if there's like an EX Metal Cooler, then I can understand. But as of right now, not really a perk that's necessary for that Goku, but it doesn't hurt to have, I guess. But that's practically it with Goku. And then moving on to Turles, it says, Turles is coming. His special uh, arts buffs his arts card draw speed, then extends the enemy substitution count on hit. 
He also gains a permanent plus 70% damage inflicted, minus 20% damage received, and plus 70% key recovery when activating his ultimate arts to crush his foe. Um, that's actually really good. <laughs> like, see, in a general retrospect, it re really wouldn't matter because we have tons of units that can obviously buff their card draw speed, that can uh, weaken uh, the opponent's substitution counts in uh, various amount of ways. So obviously being able to speed up your arts card uh, draw speed is always a good thing, but uh, being able to extend substitution counts on hit though. Again, there are units that extend it as well, but it's on hit. So maybe by obviously, you know, keeping a combo going, you could prevent units from coming in because it, it doesn't necessarily say if it's for that specific unit when they get out, or if it's while you're attacking somebody and they have their uh, units in the back end, every attack that you land, it like, for example, increases their substitution count by three or um, whatever the case may be. It, there's no um, specification towards that. If it's the latter, then that'd actually be kind of cool because you can literally keep the combo going while in technicality, keeping the opponent trapped in there, which would be really good, honestly. And now that I'm thinking about it, if Turtles ends up being a green unit, that would, that would be amazing. I, I'm just saying. But um, yeah, obviously that's something that we'll have to wait and see because we really don't have actual specification towards what it applies to. And then obviously him getting permanent buffs is always a good thing. Obviously it comes at the cost of your ultimate arts, which is not necessarily a bad thing because if you land it or I'm assuming even if you miss it, well, no, because it says if you activate it. No, yeah, so if you land or miss it, you still get the permanent buffs. That's a good thing, because again, plus 70% to damage inflicted, minus 20% to damage received, and plus 70% uh, to key recovery means that this unit can probably stay in for a very, very long time, seeing that you'll be able to deal damage, take a bit of damage, and get their key back very, very quickly, while still being able to buff up their arts card draw speed Meaning that this Turles could be a threat. Who knows? Um, right now, the only team that he could really fall onto would be what? Saiyans and I guess Sagas from the movies. If they decide to give him that tag, probably powerful opponent because it seems to go to all the villains. But only time will tell. Um, and also, this Turles doesn't have Kill Driver, which I find is weird. I mean, I, I like his moves, don't get me wrong, but he doesn't have Kill Driver but if I'm not mistaken, based off of the V jump scan, his artwork showed that, you know, he was using Kill Driver. That's, I, I, I don't know. I, I just find that weird. But all in all, though, those are the details that we have on the brand new Goku and the brand new Turles. But I do want to know what you guys think about these two units in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for them and to see what they can really bring to the table when they drop? Or do you not care? And are you going to save your crystals for whoever the next units are going to be? Let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Mitakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.